Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lanyel Kuzar, and I'm the owner of Yes, of it Decor and More. So this past weekend, I helped to decorate for a second birthday party. And guys, I was so excited because it was for a little girl and we were gonna be using pink and purple, which of course, when you use those colors, I knew it was gonna come out really cute. And then also, it was an Encanto-themed birthday party. And I love that movie. Like, I'm, I'm really a little kid. Like, I love watching Disney movies. So I was really excited to decorate for this event. So let's get into the setup, and then make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video so I can get into my lessons learned. All right? So let's get started. <laughs>
All right, guys. So that was the birthday party. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? I just love that balloon backdrop and I love those centerpieces. I really feel like that was my best event of the year. And I could be biased just because I love the Encanto movie. <laughs> I mean, I go around singing those songs from the movie, We Don't Talk About Bruno, all of the time. As a matter of fact, there was a little girl at the birthday and she came out as soon as I was done with the balloon backdrop and started singing, We Don't Talk About Bruno, right? Like the excitement on kids' faces when they see the balloons and they see the characters, I just, I, I love decorating for kids' events, all right? So let's get into the lessons learned because of course I have a few of them for you guys. The first lesson learned with this event was that sun glare. Like I could not get away from the sun when I was trying to record my videos for you know YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. Oh, just in case you guys didn't know, I am on TikTok now. Like I thought that TikTok was for kids and dancers. So that's the reason why I was not in a rush to go onto TikTok. But I will tell you guys, for everyone who owns your own business, TikTok is so much fun when it comes to creating your content because they have all of these, you know, effects and visual things and just, it's just really fun when it comes to creating content. I put something on there every day because I just can't wait to create another TikTok. So if you have questions on whether you should get on TikTok or not, I would highly recommend it because I love it, okay? Now, <laughs> back to the sun glare. That sun was like shining down right on my backdrop and it seems like it seemed like I could not get away from, you know, having glare in my videos. So afterwards when I went home, I googled it, of course, like what do you do when there's a lot of sun glare? And what they recommended was that you just put your hand over your camera so that you can block, you know, the sun with your hand. You know, just try to put something over your camera. Oops, I hope I'm not putting my hand in the camera. <laughs> but just try to put your hand over your camera so you don't get sun glare. And then also you just wanna make sure that you're just trying out as many different angles as possible to you know, get the sun glare out of your pictures and out of your video. My second lesson learned with this event is to bring extra spray paint to the event. So as you guys seen with those centerpiece stands, I ended up spray painting them like a light pink color because I wanted the centerpieces to match with the balloon backdrop that I was creating, right? But what ended up happening when I was on my way to the event, one of those centerpieces, the paint on it, it chipped and it looked really bad. Like I was like, I can't put this on the table like this. So Mira, my assistant, ended up going to Home Depot and getting me an extra can of spray paint. But the thing is, I already had spray paint at home. I could have just brought extra to the event. So I ended up spending money that I didn't have to spend. So if you're gonna be spray painting, here's two things. So one, like I said, you can bring some extra spray paint just in case something gets damaged in transit. But also, when it comes to spray painting, like centerpiece stands, you always wanna make sure that you wrap them in a bubble wrap, right? Wrap them in something, and that way that'll protect the surface, right? So you don't have to worry about chips on the way to the event. And here's my last lesson learned with this event. Going forward, when I'm booking clients, especially when I'm decorating at their home, I'm gonna make sure that I ask them to keep their driveway clear, or at least an area in front of their home, keep that clear so that when I come with my U-Haul, when I come with my truck, I'm able to easily you know, get in and out and retrieve the decorations and clean everything up. So, you know, that's the thing. Sometimes, you know, when clients are having events at their home and they have a lot of guests, right? All the guests are parked in front of their house or maybe parked, you know, in the driveway. And then it's really hard for you to get in there, right? And park your van or your truck and then try to maneuver around everybody to get the decorations. 
So going forward, I'm just gonna, you know, give a friendly reminder to my clients just to let them know, like, hey, can you keep the driveway clear? Or just keep an area in front of your house clear so that I'm able to get in and get the decorations and clean up for you. All right, guys, so those were my lessons learned. I hope they were helpful to you. I'm gonna put all the materials and the decorations that I use in the description of this video, just as a reminder, because I always get questions on this. For my setup videos, the setup with me videos, I do not count the number of balloons. I just don't have the time when I'm getting ready for my events. I don't have time to count the number of balloons and track you know, how many of what size did I use. But what I will do is I'll put a link in the description for a similar backdrop where I did count the number of balloons. So if you guys have any questions on the sizes and the number of balloons that I use, you could always check that video, all right? If you have any other questions, please let me know and I'll see you in my next video.